कुछ इतफाक दिल पर छाप छोड़ जाते हैं बादलों में मानो पीली धूप छोड़ जाते हैं एंड नीलम टूडे लवली नीलम इज लाइक यू नो ब्रेथ ऑफ फ्रेश एयर एंड यू नो फॉर सनी कैलिफोर्निया यू आर द धूप So Thank I, you. yeah. Thank so you welcome to Off the Cuff, Neela, and I'm so delighted to be sitting here with uh, you and uh, talking to you live. And we all know that uh, Neela Kothari, Sony now was a rage in the '90s. Everyone loved her. She was a ballerina and cute as a button. I think all men wanted her, and all women wanted her lovely hair. I say, <laughs> your hair is so marvelous. So tell me, Neelam, uh, from Jawani, your first movie to Fabulous uh, Lives. How has it been? And you know, you walking away from the limelight at such a young age. Um, how was that? Was it tough? Well, I mean, I've had a fantastic journey. Yes, I had a great innings. Mm -hmm. um, I started off very young. Mm -hmm. My first film, Jawani, at yes. uh, at fifteen, mm -hmm. and then I did over forty films. And then uh, I decided to call it a day because mm -hmm. uh, everything has a shelf life, and uh, mm -hmm. the kind of work that was coming up my way I wasn't too happy with. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to sort of say goodbye to the industry. Mm -hmm. And I I always feel that you know you should leave when you're on the top, not just fade away. So people sort of remember you mm -hmm. in a in a very nice way. Mm -hmm. And then I joined my family business. And got married, had a baby, yeah. and uh, yeah, opportunity knocked on my door again with fabulous lives of Bollywood wives, and uh, you know I don't think any any of us sort of anticipated it being such a huge success. In fact, when we were shooting for season one, Seema, yeah. Bhavna, Mahit, and myself, yeah. we used to be sitting there uh, during the shoot thinking. Who's gonna watch this? <laughs> Who wants to know what's happening in our lives? And you know, what do you know? It's a great success, um, thanks to all the viewers and for making it such a success and giving us so much of love. Mm -hmm. But I have to say here that it's all thanks to Karan Johar. You know, I wouldn't be here. Um, you know, uh, I. I mean, I have to be honest. There was a lot of coaxing that happened. <laughs> For Bollywood wise, yes. I was like, I wasn't too keen because it is a reality show. Mm -hmm. You are putting yourself out mm -hmm. there for judgment mm -hmm. and uh, for criticism, mm -hmm. for praise, mm -hmm. for everything. Mm -hmm. So I sort of shied away, and I, I mm -hmm. said, okay, you know what? I'm not doing this. Mm -hmm. So he said, look, it's your call. Yes. But I'm confident it's going to be a huge success, and, and I'm glad I did it. We are glad that you did it. You are, you know, ruling uh, the hearts once again. I'll say, you know, all of you actually have become global stars. And for me, particularly as an older, you know, I am in my fifties now, and I've started doing this really lately. So I love seeing, you know, the web, the OTT platforms that are giving, you know, anybody, any woman or, a, uh, you know, or anybody a chance to showcase uh, what they are. So I so, think, yeah. For the reason our show is such a big success yeah. is because normally, first of all, there isn't any other reality show from India yes. of this kind. Yes. And uh, secondly, you know, we're we're all in our forties and fifties. Yes. Which is, um, I think, a lot of women sort of relate to Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, having said that, I mean, there are also lots of kids who've watched it. Yes. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> you know, they are enjoying yeah. it, so uh, it's it's great. Yeah, but a lot of millennials are watching. My, I have a daughter, and their group is watching it and enjoying it because I think you all are reaching out to uh, sisterhood uh, in in every phase of life. Be it my life, I've been in uh, California for thirty years, and I've had friendships like yours for twenty five to thirty years. We were like young kids, and now we have. All. So you know, I think we everybody identifies uh, with that. Did you particularly find a certain aspect or facet to your personality while doing uh, Bollywood? I mean, what you see is what I am. Okay. You know, it's it's mm. a reality show. Mm. It's not. Uh -huh. There's no script. There's no. Um, okay. There's no. I mean, there's nothing fake in it. It's mm. all real stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, each one of us. Okay. So you know, me identifying with it, it's. It's me. Each one is playing themselves. Okay, so you see what you, uh, you know. You, it's a reality you, show. It's a yeah. reality show. Yeah. 
so but this was something new for you like you're saying you had cameras in your house and you know your husband was there i've already said that he's one of the you know the best ones there and uh, ha did that change a little bit of your lifestyle or uh, it was just not too much of a change <laughs> No, not a change. I mean, simple things like mm -hmm. uh, when they were shooting in the house, I would request them, you know, uh, please don't shoot when my daughter's around. Yes. You know, okay, let's wrap it up before mm -hmm. she comes home. Mm -hmm. uh, just little things like that. It hasn't really changed my lifestyle at all. That's great. It's just made me a lot busier. That's okay. it. Yeah, uh, that's, that's wonderful to know. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, you know, you are a parent yourself and cry is all about uh, empowering uh, everybody, young children. Um, as far as education is concerned, you've uh, learned a lot on, on, on your job. You know, you were young, you were 13 or 15 you, uh, when you were first film. So what, what do you have to say to your daughter about education? How important is education? So I'll be honest with you, mm -hmm. I didn't complete my education. I studied till the 10th. Yes. Uh, but mm -hmm. um, I had a lot of opportunities. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I was lucky to have those opportunities, but having said yes. that, uh -huh. movies was never an option for me. Okay. Um, in mm -hmm. the sense, I never wanted to become mm -hmm. a film star. Okay. Uh, it just so happened I got the offer, mm -hmm. and my parents were dead against it. And I said, you know, <laughs> let me try this one film, uh -huh. and I'll go back mm -hmm. to my studies in Bangkok. Yeah. Um, what would I tell my daughter? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I would say education comes first. Okay. And then you do whatever you want. But having said that, mm -hmm. um, we're here today talking about, you know, child's yes. rights. I feel that every child should have the opportunity mm -hmm. and the right to choose their future. You know, so uh, yeah, and and we all are here today mm -hmm. because of our families and our support system. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's so many children in India, underprivileged kids, and mm -hmm. you know, who have no choice. Um, but um, because of the economic situation of their families, mm -hmm. you know, they, they, they're pushed into child labor. They yes. have no choice. Yes. So I feel that it's important that every child should have the right to education, mm -hmm. the right to choose. Very good, good answer, I'd say. And thank you for using your celebrity, you know, for such a great cause. You know, you know you said your mom. One more question was about Bollywood uh, wives. I know I've, uh, you know, written some titles that, you know, you can uh, just uh, answer about that. Like, all of you are crazy and <laughs> just lovely to watch. So if uh, you had to pick one, who would be Miss Congeniality amongst all four of you? <laughs> it depends on the situation. <laughs> it honestly depends on the situation. I think, okay. If the audience had to pick, I don't know, it would be Bhavana, I don't know. It <laughs> you just, know. Oh, it just, depends yeah, on the it, it just depends. Like, I'll give an example. Like, if I'm having, say, um, okay. I mean, like, I, I go, I reach out to Mahip on a different level. I okay. reach out to Seema on a different level, Bhavna on a different hmm. level. So, like I said, it's just... It just depends on what situation we're in. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So then, then I should ask. Miss Proper would be you, I'll say. <laughs> you. Well, I mean, hmm. I mean, there's a side of there's a part of me that's mad and crazy okay. as well. Okay. Uh, once I let my hair down, but yes, I that's my personality. I'm okay. guarded. I'm Miss Proper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And in the end, tomorrow is Mother's Day. So any message for you know stay-at-home moms or working moms, anything that you'd like to part with? I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mummies out there. And um, I think being a mother is the most beautiful thing in the world. And uh, I just have to say one thing, you know, sometimes we sort of get lost and absorbed in our family lives and mm. looking after children and husband and the home. I just feel it's important to do something for yourself sometimes. You know, take time out, pamper yourself, do something for yourself, whatever you enjoy doing. It's not about making money. If you enjoy, I don't know, you know, yoga, go and do yoga. Take out time for yourself. Wow, I think that's the best advice anybody can, uh, you know, get, especially here in the Silicon Valley where 